Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nations of Israel. This is your brother Ayash Kabal from the GMS Virginia camp coming at you with another short lesson that I pray that you find edifying. So, I'm going to get right into it. Um, I was having a conversation with this Jake over at the plantation, you know, and the conversation led a little bit into the scriptures. Actually, it led into the history of the Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Because prior to the conversation about the history, you know, this Jake was saying, man, I've been getting, I've been getting messages on my phone to prep, you know, and looking at all these bad things happening, you know, I think the Lord is trying to send me a message prep. So, you know, he told me this and I'm like, well, you can prep all you want, but without faith, it ain't going to do you no good. You know what I'm saying? Because you can have all the food in the world and all the ammo in the world and all the protection in in, in the world. But if Yahabashim Yahushai ain't with you, then, you know, it's all for naught. So, you know. Salakia. Salakia. So, you know, I told him, you know, you can have all this stuff, but without faith, you know, it's meaningless. You know, it's meaningless. It ain't it ain't going to do you no good. So he was like, man, you know, I got a lot of that. You know, and from there, you know, the conversation started getting into the scriptures and then the history, you know, more so of the history, you know, going into the scriptures. Anyhow, so, so you know, I'm talking to this Jake, and I forget the question that I asked him, or I forget the statement that I made, but, Essentially, I was testing the waters, you know, to see how deep he would want to go. And basically, I forget the question that I posed to him. Or I forget the statement that I made. But this Jake looked at me and said, I don't even want to know. <laughs> I was like, what? You know, he basically nullified the conversation going into the scriptures, you know, I, you know, it's because I asked him, you know, are you a Christian? You, you know, he was like, yeah, you know, and I was like, you believe in the Bible? You know, he was like, yeah, you know, um, um, more so the New Testament, you, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I made the statement, well, you do know that a lot of scriptures were quoted in the New Testament, right? You know, and then, you know, he had this deer in the headlight look. But long story short, this Jake looked at me and said, I don't even want to know. And and the look that he gave me during my conversation with him was like a deer in the headlight. You know, you know, he was polite enough, you know, to sit there and listen. You know, he was cordial enough, you know, to hear what I was saying. But. But I can see in his eyes, man, that, you know, he just was drifting. You know, he was going somewhere other than where, you know, the scriptures was uh, going. So that's essentially the, um, the, the motivation for this lesson. And uh, before I ramble on anymore, you know, let me break out some scriptures. The book of Isaiah, chapter 53 and verse 1. Who hath believed our report? Who's going to believe our report? You know, who's going to believe what's being told to them? Who's going to believe in the prophecies that's being prophesied about? Who's going to believe in the information being given to them? You know, not too many people is going to believe this. You know, a lot of people that we converse with about the 
doctrine about news, you know, about the reports on television, this, that, or the other, they don't believe it, nor, nor do they want to believe it, you know? They'd rather stay in their little bubble. They'd rather stay in, in their safe zone, you know? And a lot of them are comfortable with that. And to whom is the arm of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh revealed? You know, who, who has the Lord revealed his, his arm to? You know, you know the Lord revealed his arm unto his servants, the prophets. You know, but when we try to explain these things to you other Israelites, you know, you other Jakes out there, you know, you don't want to hear it. You don't even want to believe it. You, you know, you people actually shun away at the idea of w wanting to know the truth. And you know that's bad when you know it's a lie, but you still continue to believe in the lie. You know it's bad when you know that that what's being told to you is the truth but you still want to stay in sin you know a perpetual sin iniquity jeremiah chapter 35 and verse 15 i have sent also unto you all my servants the prophets rising up early and sending them saying Return ye now every man from his evil way and amend your doings and go not, not after other gods to serve them. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers. And that's what you're seeing right now. The servants of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, the prophets rising up early, putting out these epistles, going out there on the highways and byways, teach, preach, and warning you people of the up-and-coming calamity that's right at the doorstep. You know, but again, you people don't believe our reports. You know, you, you, you would rather not want to know. And so when these things happen to you, you're going to want answers, and no answers are going to be given in that day. You know? Because the doors of mercy is open right now, and and bro, they're they're closing fast. You know, the prophets are still out there on the highways and byways, warning you people, meaning that the hand of the Lord is still stretched out, still. But a lot of you people, man, you got the audacity to say that you don't want to know. Well, in that day, you're not gonna know. And nor are you going to be directed down the path of, of getting the information to know. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying all of you people who don't want to know now won't know later. You know? You know, because the Lord, you know, he can do whatever he want. And we know that. So you might not want to know this information now, but... In that day of these calamities, you know, the Lord might have mercy on you, you know, to get this information and to actually have you believe it. But for two thirds of you, Jake, who don't want to know, in that day, you're not going to know. You're not going to give, you're not going to be given, um, what's the word? You're not going to be given the mercy to know, you know. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses. And that's what they do. You know, a lot of these people, although they hear what you say, you know, and, and, and actually pretend to consume what you say, but at the end of the day, they really don't believe nothing that you said. 
because they just don't want to know. You know, like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people have called you enough to actual, actually hear what you got to say, but they don't believe what you're saying. And like I said earlier, I mean, you can actually have a conversation with these people and look in their eyes and tell that their hearts, meaning their minds are somewhere else. Not on, not on what you're saying, not on the scriptures. And speak to everyone, it's a lot, and speak one to another, everyone is brother saying, come, I pray you, and hear with the word that cometh from the Hawa Bashem Yahweh was shy. So yeah, you, you know, you, you know, you have those people who will come up and want to hear the word, you know, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shy. You know, and they'll actually act like they're actually absorbing it. You know, they'll they'll act like they're interested into the point where where they're happy that the person that they're with, if they come with someone, pulls them away. You know, because it's not where their heart's at. You know, they give this fake they give this fake persona of wanting to learn, but they really don't want to know. You know, especially when you start getting deep, you know, people don't like deep. You know, a lot of people like to stay on the surface level because because once you break the surface tension and start sinking, that's when a lot of people just lose it to the point where, you know, it's hard for them to resurface. So a lot of people like to stay on the surface level without breaking that surface tension. Because that's the safe zone. They don't have to worry about anything below. They just need, they just concentrate on what's on their plane at that time and at that moment. Reading on verse 31. And they come unto me as, and, and they come unto me as the people cometh. And they sit before thee as my people. Yeah, you know, they'll sit back and, and you know, they'll hear every word that you're saying. You know, and they'll, again, they'll act like they're absorbing it. They'll act like they're interested in it, you know. And they hear thy words, but they will not do them. So you'll sit back and you'll tell them what's right and what's wrong. But at the end of the day, they're just going to continue to do what it is that they want to do, you know. But with their mouths, they show much love. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you'll sit there and you'll read the scriptures to them and you'll give them the history and, and you know, you tell them about the prophecies and the upcoming calamities and they'll sit there and they'll be like, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, ain't that the truth? You know, you know how Jake do, you know? But with their mouths, they show much love. But with their heart, goeth after their covetousness. And that's what they do. You know, Jake is fake like that. They act like they're interested. They act like they want to learn. They act like they're all about it, about it. But at the end of the day, they just don't want to know. Why? Because it doesn't benefit them. Going on to verse 32. And lo, lo are unto them as a very lovely song. Of one that has a pleasant voice. You know, as long as you're reading out of the scriptures, you got a very pleasant voice. You know? Even, even when they disagree with what you're saying, they'll sit there and they'll listen and act like they're interested and they'll act like they're learning. You know, and to them it'll sound like a very pleasant voice. And can play well on an instrument and the, and that instrument is the scriptures, you know. We come out the scriptures verse or well versed, given the relevant information that's needed for you know to understand the scriptures, you know. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So the prophets of Yahweh and Yahushai bring together the doctrine in all truth. You know, and these people will will actually 
think it's a beautiful thing that we go into the scriptures the way that we go into the scriptures and we bring it out the way that we bring it out to give them the understanding. But at the end of the day, they just don't want to know. They don't care. You know, these people don't care about the, the Lord whatsoever. You know, read it on. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. So, you know, you can sit back and you tell a person, stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobsters, you know, repent, turn back, stop committing adultery, fornication, homosexuality, this, that, or the other. But they hear these things, but at the end of the day, they just don't, they, they're just going to continue to do what they do, you know? So that's why the Lord says, Cast not your pearls unto swines, you know? Because I'm looking at the eyes of this Jake, man, you know, and it's like he he was hearing what I was saying, but, you know, he had this glazed look over his eyes, man, whereas, whereas you know, like he was looking past me. And I seen it. And when he said, I don't want to know, was when I was like, wow, all that information I just gave him is out the window. You know what I'm saying? He probably can't regurgitate a sentence that I've given him. But, you know, again, you know, at the end of the day, the Lord could do whatever he want. You know, the Lord can open up his eyes and make him see and have him see. Even though he said, I don't want to know. But at the end of the day, <laughs> For you Jakes that have this or or who have had the opportunity to get this information and and actually shunned it and rebuked it, amen. It's on you, you know. The scriptures say, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know? And so with that, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The one I see the apostles of great millstone who rule well, peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.